the drawing will be held on July 5th. So we will announce the winners on July 5th. Good morning, YouTube. Cruise Man here for yet another of my award-winning motovlogs. If you're wondering what awards I'm talking about, I give myself the award. So, I'm going to make a quick run up to the grocery store. Got a couple of errands to run. I thought, hey, let's just throw on the GoPro or the GoPros and uh, make a video and let you know what's going on. It's Saturday morning. It is currently about 76 degrees. A little cloudy today. We had a uh, pretty nice little rainstorm last night. Now I want to tell you before I get started to make sure you stick around for the end of this video because I'm going to make a couple of uh, really exciting big announcements at the end of this video and you don't want to miss out on that so don't click away from this video till the very end make sure you watch it but I had something come up a couple days ago and, and before I get started even on this let me say if this is your first time here to join us on one of my motor vlogs I want to welcome you to Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlogs my motor vlogs I talk about just about anything so thanks for joining us and if you enjoy what you see today and this is your first time here please click that little subscribe button we'd love to have you so a couple days ago I got a call from my girlfriend Ricky she is uh, staying at her mother's house uh, she, I think I may have mentioned this before, she does like a two weeks on, two weeks off sort of thing, swapping out, caring for her 90-year-old uh, mom. And she kind of switches with her brother. Her brother takes care of her for two weeks, and uh, Ricky takes care of her for two weeks. Anyway, I got a call, and at her mother's house, her internet router had died. We ended up ordering a new router, and then... I thought, you know what, this, and I was on the phone with her for, I don't know how long, hours, trying to help her walk her through some of these setup things. And it got me to thinking about my personal frustrations with this uh, smart home technology. And, you know, if you have a quote-unquote smart home, and I guess most of us probably have it to some degree today, everything in your home now depends on that Wi-Fi router. And when you have to change the router and change the password, you have to go through everything in your home and reconnect to that new router. And I'm telling you, it is a pain in the butt. She's been working on this for at least a couple of days now, and it's still not completely done. And I just looked around our house at the things that depend on that router. First, we've got our ring doorbell, which is the video doorbell. That has to connect to Wi-Fi. And then we've got even our thermostat. We replaced a few years ago, replaced our thermostats with these Honeywell uh, Wi-Fi enabled uh, thermostat so that if we're out of town or on our way back in town we can log in through Wi-Fi and change our thermostat or we can check to see our thermostat from wherever we are it's really kind of nice when it works well then we've got our telephone system which is voice over IP uh, which we have through UMA and that requires the Wi-Fi router and then we can just move on down the line from there. Even my garage door opener is Wi-Fi enabled. So if I leave the house and I want to make sure I closed my garage door, I can close it via Wi-Fi. Got the bicycle riders out today in force. 
Then we get to my sprinkler system. A few years back, I installed one of these Ratio Wi-Fi app-enabled sprinkler systems. That's got to have Wi-Fi and has to have the router. So that has to be all hooked up. And we've added a lot of these things to uh, Ricky's mother's house so that Ricky can manage and control these things if she comes back to uh, Carrollton and forgets maybe that you know the temperature set correctly or whatever she can do all this remotely on her phone which it's like I say it this stuff is great when it works but it can be really frustrating if you after ever have to swap out your Wi-Fi router because now you got to go through the house and reconnect every single device to your new router using the new password login all that and of course our cell phones and our computers if they're on Wi-Fi they're all connected to the router uh, in our case, our DISH network, if you've got Hulu or Netscape, uh, not Netscape, uh, Netflix or any of those things, they probably require Wi-Fi. So everything now seems like, and some of you guys probably have smart refrigerators and washers and dryers and, I mean, my God, the number of things in your home. I've often wondered, what happens if we ever sell our home? What are we going to have to do to turn this over to someone else? because every one of these devices has a completely different interface. So you have to have the updated app and you've got to remember how to go in and and Ricky's been working with this Wemo uh, lighting controls and for two days and it really, really is a pain in the butt to change your router settings or your login information. So anyway, I want to hear your stories on smart homes. What smart home devices do you have at your house? Uh, do you get frustrated with them sometimes? I think I mentioned my out, some of my outside lights are controlled by Wi-Fi, and that's so that, uh, you know, with an app on my phone, I can set what time they come on and what time they go off. So I swapped out the switch panels or the switches with Wi-Fi enabled uh, light switches. And it's, like I say, it's a great thing when it works. So I want to hear your smart home horror stories. Now, I'm going to give you my first big announcement. So the first announcement is tomorrow is Father's Day. I want to wish all of you guys that have kids a happy Father's Day. I don't have children, but appreciate those of you that do. Someone's got to keep the the species uh, going. In honor of Father's Day, we are offering a Father's Day special on my 2001 through 2020 Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Now, if you have a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing, what I call a, a, a fifth generation Goldwing, you can get $25 off the cost of those videos. If you have a 2018 to 2020, it's a separate series of videos, 65 videos in that series, and you can save $35, but you have to use the promo code DADS, D-A-D-S, when you order. And when you order, it will take either $25 or $35 off, depending on which set you order. I'm going to do something even extra special for those of you that order in the next 24 hours. And I'm just going to say until midnight Father's Day. Let's just make it midnight Father's Day. If you order between now and then, I'm also going to send you one of my Cruise Man's Garage LED work lights. These are super cool. It's a $20 value. Everyone that has one tells me how much they love it. This is a super bright LED light. I keep one of mine in my little side pocket here on the Goldwing. Because if you ever need to look up in those little dark areas to see what's going on, it's the perfect light for that. So I'm going to make... That's only good for today until midnight tomorrow night or midnight on Father's Day depending on when you see this video now the next thing this is the other big announcement 
in conjunction with Bond Body Armor, and those of you have probably seen my review that I've done on Bond Body Armor. They make armored riding gear, shirts and pants that you can wear underneath your uh, riding jacket or underneath your blue jeans to give you that protection uh, that you just can't get any other way. It, they have great products and they're all made right here in the USA. Well, Bond has teamed up with Cruise Man's Garage and we're doing a giveaway. And we're going to give away a free armored shirt from Bond Body Armor. Anybody can register. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is register with your name and email address on my website. I'll put the link in the description down below. The drawing will be held on July 5th. So we will announce the winners on July 5th. Now this Bond armored shirt, you can pick from one of their all season mesh shirts and they come with the armor. Or you can pick the cool mesh, which is what I wear underneath my jacket in the summertime because it's very sheer, the, the air just goes right through it, so it's not hot at all. And the armor in these Bond Armor products is much more comfortable than the armor that comes in these jackets, these Olympia jackets that I buy. So you can basically take the armor out of your jacket or out of your riding pants and just use the Bond body armor underneath, and they're much more comfortable. These shirts, are a value of $160 to $180. So it's a heck of a giveaway. I want to thank Bond Body Armor for sponsoring this giveaway. And we're giving away one of these armored shirts. And then for the runners up, we're going to be giving away some skull caps. Go to my website and register right now for that giveaway. And good luck. And that's about all I've got to talk about today. I've got other things to talk about, but I'm going to save them for another motor vlog later in the week. Ah, it's a beautiful day for riding here. I mean, it's cloudy. It's not sunny and pretty, really, but it is 71 degrees now. Very cool. There's no wind. Oh, I love it. The, the day after a rain, it cooled everything off a little bit. So I'm just going to continue to ride for a bit, stop by the grocery store, get my little errands run. I want to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. It, and by the way, if you've got any topics that you'd like me to talk about in future motor vlogs, hey, put it in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to consider it. And uh, a lot of my topics come from you guys. So thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.